DJ Betts featuring Jordan Allen and Dagan Parker. DJ Betts. Jordan Allen here, Dagan Parker. Let's go. Fire it up, NBA All Star Weekend. I'm looking at the odds right now on FanDuel Sportsbook. Rising Stars Tournament which is tonight for all the young stars in the NBA. Team Isaiah, plus 180. Team Peyton, plus 220. Team Worthy, plus 350. And Team Barry also, at plus 350. Dagan, who are you going with in all these teams? I, I like Team team Worthy, and uh, who, who's the other one? I, what was it? Team, um, who's the one with Scotty Barnes and them on it? Is that Porter? No, I, I want to see. Team Peyton, isn't it? Team Peyton, that's it. Yeah, 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 Peyton. Yeah. I, I, I'm i putting money on both of them teams. All right, I'm taking Team Peyton. Uh, that's who I like. I think, as you said. I, and I love the combo. LaMelo Ball and Scotty Barnes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, McDaniels from Minnesota. I, man, I, like, I, I just think that's going to be the funnest team to watch. Yeah. And in a flip of a coin tournament, I'm going to put my money on fun. So I can enjoy it a bit more. But I, I do like the way they blend together. And I think they, they can win this thing outright. Legit. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Absolutely. And then looking at the actual All-Star game on Sunday. We have Team LeBron. Team Durant. The spread six. The totals 320 and 21 and a half. Money lines minus 235 for Team LeBron. Plus 194. For Team Durant, I'm really leaning towards taking the six with, um, sorry, giving the six with Team LeBron. I, I think they're. I, I love down. Team LeBron. I, I yeah. think they're the better team. I, I easily. I hesitate on the six, but I would almost do a parlay. I just, I was thinking of parlaying Team LeBron on the money line and playing the under. Because really? I know like everyone's going to be all over the over All Star game. Everybody expects that, you know, one one fifty eight, one fifty still puts that under, right? You know, like I, I think you can still have a really high scoring game. I don't know that it's going to be that one sixty, one seventy for each team this year, but you yeah. never know. It could, it could go over. It's a scary thing to bet the under all the time. Whenever you bet the under, it can be a bit scary. But I'm gonna, I might do a mini parlay with Team LeBron and the under on this one. All right. I mean, listen. You gotta you gotta go with who you like here, but um, I'm just I, feeling I'm just, a lower scoring game for some reason. I I think they might play a little defense. Yeah, no, I mean you might be right. Like they're usually competitive games, so I'm actually gonna stay away from the over under. I'm gonna just bet the game and just enjoy that. But Dagan, looking at the All Star Game MVP odds, there's some great value here. Luka Doncic ten to one. Steph Curry nine to one, John Morant six and a half to one. Was I was thinking about there. The, I Joker and Jokic were two that I was kind of looking at. I I haven't put a bet down, but I I'm gonna decide on one of them too, and I'm I'm gonna lay a couple bucks on one of them, maybe even both of them, because the odds, even if one of them hits, you you're still gonna win nice. Oh, absolutely, Joker is. I, I might. I, I'm one. gonna pick a favorite, put a put a nice chunk on them, and then sprinkle a couple dollars on on the other. Yeah, right, John so Morant's you, amazing. Yeah, John Morant is. He, he's a phenomenal player. He's he's one of my favorites to watch in the league this Me year, too. man. Me that too. that kid is just so incredible. You you know you know. I wish he was a Raptor so fucking bad, man. <laughs> you have no idea. So when I I didn't. I'll be honest with you. I didn't watch a lot of Murray State games, but I would watch highlights because I would hear about John Moran, obviously, who went there. And I would just, from watching the highlights, and I normally don't make a final decision on a player based on highlights, but I had to. No, I hate that. I said, this guy's going to be special. But I made an exception. And this guy is just unbelievable. I said said before the draft, before he got drafted, that he was going to be better than Zion Williamson. I said it. And, and, and a lot of people disagreed with me, rightfully so. But I also said the reason I think he's going to be better is he's more Injuries. Durable. Zion had a lot of injuries. Injuries. Right? Yeah, and people don't take that into account when they're talking about that shit either. They, they're just, no, Zion's the best player. Well, 
Yeah, but if he only plays three games a year, it's kind of like the Brooklyn Nets. Like, you got Kyrie playing half the games. I, I think he's overrated, personally. I, yeah. I'm i not saying he's not a great player. No, no, no. But I'm I don't think he deserves all the fucking hype he gets, that's for sure. And, and I, 100%. I, and uh, Durant, always injured. They've, they've gotten on from Harden to get Ben Simmons, who hopefully deals with his mental health issues, but that's always a concern going forward as yeah. well. And, and I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that in no, a serious, like, like take care of your mental health way, Ben. Like, make sure you're right before you come back. Don't don't force this. Don't rush this. I, I know it's a real initial boost with the trade and, and the relief from not having to deal with all the noise or whatever the situation was in Philly that, that, that was uh, causing... Uh, extra stress on top of your personal issues that that might have been going on in his personal life like i don't know what's going on in his personal life so i'm not here to speak on that but like uh ho yeah. hopefully like even maury came out yesterday and uh was talking that there was definitely something wrong now he didn't want to take any admittance so he kind of played that cool and and without really getting any blame his way uh my battery is dying on my laptop i'm just plugging it in as i'm talking yeah They're no worries all good yeah run. no i I'm with you on that. And and the fact is, like, yeah, you, you got to take care of your mental health. You got to make sure you're ready to go. But at the end of the day, I think Brooklyn won that trade. Um, I know, obviously, the trade deadline has passed, but I just wanted to recap quickly. Well, same with Curry and the two first. I, yeah. I, think, I think that's – Right? That definitely makes up for it. And they're all making it out like – well, it was a good deal for both teams because you got the rare occasion where two stars want to go to a big market, not the one they're in already because they're having this issue or that issue or whatever the situations may be with Harden yeah. and Simmons. And the two GMs actually got together and made a deal that kind of worked for both teams. But I do yeah. agree. Like, I, I'd rather Seth Curry, the two first, and, and Simmons to go with that roster than I would Harden – and Millsap say with Embiid, even though that was yeah. a big win, big win that I I won some money on last night with Philly beating the Bucks. But yeah, <laughs> good call, good call. But I mean, you have to look at. Yeah, it I had a very good too. night last night. Yeah, you did. Yeah, nice, nice. No, but I mean, you have to look at this thing this at this way too. Harden hasn't won anything. People love to just make him out as this unbelievable player. I mean, sure, yeah, but he, he does it in... he's been alone though. Like honestly, well, with the supporting CP3. cast around him, out outside of OKC when they were all rookies, he's had CP3 he, he, Dagan in Houston. I don't, but like you got two triple double guys, you, with no big really, really amongst them. Like I don't know, man. I just don't think he's had the right players around him at all in his career. And, and like you, even look at what Durant. Durant had to go to Golden State, Golden State, and join Thompson, Curry, uh, Draymond, like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. to win his title, right? Yeah. No, I, I I hear what you're saying. I just until Harden wins a championship, I can't annoy him to be this unbelievable player. Like for me, you got to win at least one championship. See, I like I disagree. Great player, I disagree. So Patrick Ewing, Carl Malone, they're not great players. Well, just to throw two instantly off the top of my head at you. I think they're. I think they were great players, but I don't think they're in that top echelon because they didn't win one. See, I disagree. I think a championship can only maybe break a tie between players if they're that close yeah, in every other saying. category. Yeah. But I, I think Ewing and Malone were better than a, a lot of players who are rated in the in the top just because they have one ring. Like how many yeah, rings would exactly. Pippen have if he doesn't play with Jordan and Rodman? Okay, there and, okay, and Steve Kerr, yes. etc. Like how many does Rodman have with another team if he has, doesn't have he, Pippen Jordan? Like he doesn't. How many does Kobe have as, if he doesn't join Shaq and then later get Carl Malone, Gary Payton, etc., etc., etc. Right, like the list goes on and on for me, and and I think that's where you really got to look at situation, uh, the team around them. Not just look at the players, but look at the playing styles and how well they blend. How well does that scheme fit? How how is the coaching? How is the timeouts? How's the officiating? Is he on a team full of young players that's not going to get the calls for the refs and therefore be put that much further behind because the other team's on the line all night while his team isn't. 
Like, like yeah. there's so many factors in it that I don't. Uh, championship argument to me is, uh, yeah, I pay no attention when people bring that to me. I'm like, oh, so are they that close where you need to break the tie with this? Like yeah, when I think yeah. of best quarterbacks in football, instantly Dan Marino's top three. Yes. Yes. Never won a championship. Yeah. No, I know, but he's right. Like, I, in. like I, I think there's. I think that argument is got so carried away in the '90s, '80s, '90s, and just blew up ever since that it's it's ridiculous to me how how much people put on a ring instead of actually looking at the whole picture. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I was trying to say that like you break the tie with that championship, right? Like if you're gonna compare Harden to um, Steph Curry, it's a no-brainer, right? Because Steph's got the three rings. Well, no, I just, I I think Steph is a slightly better overall player. Me too. I don't he's more look at the too. rings. No, I know, but I'm saying because they're both great players, that's You're a deciding Steph factor. over. Yeah. See, no, I think... I think Steph also has a perfect situation. He's got the two shooters, then you got the big and dream on who, who can do everything. You got all the young kids, the Kamingas and shit that that they drafted. Like, fantastic, man. Like, I agree. But to me, situation helps, right? Like, it's the whole thing. Even even Tom Brady, like Tom Brady, doesn't have a, a big arm. He, he's not a flashy quarterback. He doesn't throw the great passes all the time. He's no. smart as fuck. He gets rid of the ball quick. Quick, quick, less than two seconds. That doesn't give any man time to get to him after no. three steps and the ball's out of your hands. So, like, is he really the best passer in the NFL? I'd say yeah. not even close. No, 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 no. no. It, is not. his accuracy the best? Not even close. If his accuracy no. was the best, you wouldn't see all the highlights of catches coming just within this far of the grass by his wide receivers. You wouldn't see all these incredible leaps by Gronk and coverage and... Yeah. Why not? And I'm not hating on Brady. I think no, he's one of the no, best I've not. ever seen, hands down. I, I'm just trying to make a point about like yeah. the argument. Oh, he's got all these rings. Well, to me, that doesn't make him better than Joe Montana. But I'm not saying he's worse than Joe Montana either, because the rules have changed so much. The equipment, the training, the medicine, the health, the fitness, the mm -hmm. nutritional factors, the accessibility to everything. Uh, he doesn't have all a. a even though it's outdoor stadiums and football still, there would have been smoke and cigars, everything going on. Yeah. Like, like you know, so so much has changed. Science, medicine, like, I'm with it goes you, on and I'm on. I think you, the man. ring argument is very overhyped. Yeah. yeah, I listen, I do too to some degree. And, and, and the thing is, is that, you know, yeah, do I think Tom Brady's the best quarterback of all time? Yeah, probably. But I would not be surprised by someone like yourself saying Joe Montana's the best ever. Like, to me, that's a very fair argument. doesn't matter if I disagree or not, but I understand. No, where and my from. point is, yeah, you, you can't compare errors. It's way too right. hard. There's too much changes in, in the in the rules even. I didn't even touch on the rules that, that have changed. Like, yeah, exactly. the way the game's called. Like, you can't even touch a quarterback or a wide receiver anymore. Like That's a joke. Fuck, like, yeah. This is football, way too man. This isn't man. like flag football for 12 and under, you know? <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I took us down that road, so let's get back on track. No, no, and, it's uh, all good. <laughs> get back to picking some games. All right, we'll get back to picking some games. So from the court to the ice, Dagan, we're going to NHL. I know you've got some props for us. Fire away. Yeah, Nashville, Carolina game. I like a couple prop bets. I like both Sebastian Antero Aho. I, I don't know why I threw in the Antero. But anyways, I like him at over two and a half shots on net. I love the shot props, especially at that two and a half number. I also like Matt Duchesne on Nashville for over two and a half shots on goal tonight in that game. And uh, Forsberg I have as an anytime goal scorer in that game. Nice. That pays two point two eighty to one two point eight time times your bet. So you bet ten bucks, you're winning twenty eight. Um, Aho, 
Buck 1.66 on the odds, 1.76 for Duchesne on the shots on goal ones. I should have said that. Uh, moving okay. on to the Florida Panthers game. I like over for Aaron Ekblad in shots on goal. Uh, it's set at two and a half, pays a buck fifty-seven times your odds, times your bet. Sorry, and Alexander Barkov as an anytime goal scorer that pays two and a half times your odds on bet three six five. Uh, moving on to the Vegas Knights, I've got Marcia Show at one sixty-two for over two and a half shots on net. I love that number shots on goal, man. The prop know, bets I've been and. and <laughs> And in the NBA, I, I, I love my rebounds, my points, my points and rebounds combined, and my points and assist combinations. The but we'll get to that. It's performance doubles. Yes, you got it. Yeah. I love, I love making them bets. I yeah. caked on those last night. Oh, my goodness. That was a nice night. Uh, yeah. Jonathan Marshall showed 2.7 for an anytime score in that game, as well as his uh, over two and a half shots. On goal, I really like Vegas tonight, but not enough to lay it on the money line because I didn't like the odds that much. And then moving on, that is all I got in hockey for tonight. It's all you got. We'll dig and usually. Uh, oh, I got the your... Vegas Knights. I did take the minus minus one and a half goals, two point two and a half. Oh, you did to one odds. Yeah, Vegas Knights by two, basically. Okay. So, Diggy, normally you've got a Parker's parlay for us. What's uh, what's on the card tonight for that? That mini parlay I gave you in the All Star game. That was the LeBron's team to win in the uh, under the total. That was my mini little parlay for the night. No, I know. I'm saying, do you have one for NHL? No, no, that's my only no, one for the nothing? weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That was my yeah, only that's, one. That's fair. That's fair. yeah, yeah. I'm all um, about the props in the NHL mainly. There's a. Uh, not a yeah. lot of parlays I do with the NHL too often. Saturday nights, once in a while, I'm, I might have something tomorrow, but I, I haven't seen the odds on Bet365 for tomorrow's games yet. So, I unfortunately, i got to wait till the morning. Maybe I'll send them to you to tweet out or whatever. So, yeah, I'll yeah, make no sure worries. we get them out there anyways, one way or the other. Absolutely. i got two NHL picks for you. I've got Dallas Stars to win in regulation at even money, minus 110. And I've got Carolina Hurricanes to win regulation, minus 115. I think both Ooh, these teams get I it love done. Carolina, man. They're a good team. They're, yeah. what, sitting fifth in the East, fourth in the East? I believe so. Yeah, let me check. Here, I'll look it up here. Yeah, double double check the standings, but regardless. Yeah, Carolina I mean, sits fourth. Yeah. Yeah, but Florida, Tampa, Pittsburgh, Carolina, Toronto, Rangers, Washington, Bruins. That's your top eight in the East. To me, the regulation bets make a lot of sense because the odds are a lot better and come to think of it not a lot of games go to overtime i i i, I bet regulation the only way i'll tease it is i'll do the by one and a half goal some sometimes like i did with vegas tonight right. i did right. i just think vegas is a much better team yeah no that's fair i i just i love these regulation bets shout out to my boy chris meany for getting me in on that he's he's all about the regulation yes fantastic dude to listen to you guys all gotta pay attention check him out gotta check him out check him out on ftn bets check him out on ftn daily ftn fantasies all over youtube on ftn's main youtube page the guy crushes he it. knows no his joke. shit he knows his he, shit he it's unbelievable honestly one of the greatest hockey betters of all time i'm not just saying that it's actually true go look at his record go look at his bets and you'll know that i'm right about this shout out means he's a friend of ours yeah he is he's a good he's a good friend of the good friend of the show and actually he's got to come on the show so meanie i'm um this an invite up give you a heads up exactly (laughs) dagan invite this your invite we're, wait, we're waiting for a response. Means when are you available? We know you're a busy man, but <laughs> got to make time for these we, guys. We can make this happen for 10 minutes and just shoot the shit and laugh even, man. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then just get his all his uh, shop props for NHL and we're good to go. <laughs> make us all money and make us all rich and maybe we'll retire. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that on a payday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's all I like in the NHL. Um Anything else that you like on the ice, or or you're good to go? No, I've just got a couple UFC bets for the card tomorrow night. Um, Take us through it. All right. I like uh, Razak Alahassan to win in round one by a KO. 
I'm going out on the upset on this one. Well, I wouldn't call it an upset. Both these fighters, they really like to come out hard and fast, and they both like to finish. And I believe all 11 of his finishes have come early in the fight. In, in the fights like the first round so yeah i i'm gonna take a little bit of a gamble it pays six to one i like that outcome and that is over buckley and i might put a little sprinkle on buckley just to win by tko because i think this is going to end fast no matter who wins it so i sprinkled a little bit on buckley to cover but ella has is who i put my money on for a first round knockout in that uh hill to win in round three by a knockout over Johnny Walker. That is the other one of the other two plays that I like on the fight card tomorrow night. And then Parker Porter by a TKO KO submission or DQ pays two to one. I think he has shown me that he's a little bit more reliable. And I honestly I'm just gonna put my money on him. I, I it's a real flip the coin, but I, I think this is gonna be a knockout fight again. So I'll roll with the two to one odds on Porter. And all that's right. all I well, got for this weekend uh, until I see them odds tomorrow for the NHL games, which I'll have more player props and picks for uh, tomorrow night's NHL skid uh, in the morning, early afternoon, probably. Probably early set. afternoon because I work nights. So Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. No, sounds good. We're going we're gonna to take you through the college basketball slate and just highlight a few yes. games, especially ones I like. Um, and Dagan will get your picks as well. Missouri, Mississippi State. Who are you taking here? Mississippi State favored by 11. Yeah, you see, I really love Mississippi State to win this game pretty easily, but uh, I hate going over the into that double digits, but give me Mizzou against the spread. I'm going to go too. dog again. Me too. I'm taking Mizzou too. It's way too many points. It's, it's an SEC battle, which normally games are close. Unless it's like Kentucky versus Mizzou. Yeah, I flip flopped a bit on that game because of the because of that number, but no, I, I gotta stick with the dog on that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Ohio, Kent State. Kent State's favored by one and a half. What are you doing here? Give me um give me Ohio. It, yeah, it take... seems like a dog day to me in NCAA. Yeah, me too. I'm taking Ohio too. Plus one and a half. They're a really good rogue team. They battle, and I just feel like it's going to be a lot closer than even the odds say. Like I know, I know Kent State's minus one thirty on the money line. That's way too much. Give me Ohio State plus one and a half. I'm also going to bet them on the money line. You plus got them at ten. Wow. Sorry. I got them at two oh five. Really? Yeah, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, two oh five, just over, just a little better than two to one odds on Ohio on bet three six five. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, another game that also has good odds is Richmond Virginia Commonwealth VCU. We like to call Ooh. VCU's favored by three. What are you doing here, Dagan? Who's your? I'm pick? going with the home team on this one. I am. This is one of the faves that I am going to roll with. I don't like that three. It could be a push. I think that's a pretty close number. I, I'm rolling with v, VCU. All right. I'm, I'm going the opposite. I'm taking the points Ooh. with Richmond. And I think Richmond can win outright. I'm not going to bet them on the money line, but I'm not opposed to anybody sprinkling if you, if you want. Next game on the slate. The last one of the night that actually matters. <laughs> Nebraska-Maryland. <laughs> Nebraska's <laughs> plus two at home. This is honestly my favorite pick of the entire week this week. Who you like? What are you doing here? Nebraska. Nebraska? Okay. Hey, when you Love said them. that, I was a little scared. Am I on the right side here? But yeah, I like Nebraska <laughs> as well. Hey, the you way like you Nebraska played that too? up, I'm like, uh, should I be thinking Maryland in this game? Where's he going here? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm taking the home dog. I'm taking Nebraska. They're good at home. They cover at home. I'm also taking Nebraska on the money line, plus 115. That's what I'm doing. Love it. And my whale pick. We can't forget about those whale picks, Dagan. Yeah, I don't have a favorite this week. I do. I'm I not do. as big as you this week. Maybe I'll find something this weekend before it's out and tweet it out. But, yeah, right, right. now I don't have a whale pick. So let's hear yours. All good. It's Nebraska. What's a whale sound like? 
We need to get a whale noise. Like I didn't want to attempt. I don't know. I don't like what the fuck, man? The noise. <laughs> I don't want to attempt the noise because I know I'll screw up. So I'll just say the name <laughs> and give you the pick, and that's all you're getting. Today. Like blow some water up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's what we should have as, a, as an effect for the show. Like, let's just open a water. If I wasn't sitting on my bed, I'd squirt it. <laughs> I need to move to the floor exactly. next fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Nebraska plus two is my whale pick of the week. I'm hammering Nebraska plus two. Oh, nice. I feel much better about that pick now. <laughs> oh, I am all in Because Jordan Nebraska is the college today. dude on this show, man. NCAA, he's your man. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate that. Listen, I just watch as many games as possible. I grind it out. I look at the spreads every day. I do my research, and that, that's what I'm all about. I mean, at the end of the day, people always say, well, how do others get so knowledgeable about certain sports? They watch a lot, they do their research, and they look at the stats. It's a simple formula. It just takes time if you're willing to put in the work. Yeah, you can't that's just do is. one of them, though. you got to do all three because they all, all intertwine. Three. The trio. That's right. Got Trips? it. No. 100%. 100%. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, you, you want to be great at something, you got to put in the work. And and that's what it is for me. And I hope this Nebraska pick is great for everybody and wins us all a lot of money so we can enjoy the weekend. Dagan, do you have any final picks, any interesting things you want to add? No, just keep an eye out for my Saturday NHL picks. I'll probably have a bunch of player props for that, especially shots on goal anytime scores. I had a big night last night with Austin Matthews getting not only the first goal, the anytime goal, the over on the shots total. I had Marner on the shots. Um, I had the Sixers, a big win with the Sixers over the Bucks. Um, I had Embiid and Giannis to both hit on the, the points and rebound totals. So, so yeah, it was a pretty good night. I think I, I, think I went... Eight and three last night overall on my prop bets, on my bets overall. Yeah, so it was a pretty good night last night. So I'm That's feeling great, pretty man. good today, even though I'm tired as fuck and just woke up like 20 minutes nah. before we did this fucking show. So. You don't seem tired at all. What are you talking about? Everybody, don't listen to Dave. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's delusional right now. No, it's all good. But listen, we appreciate everybody watching the show. We went through all the picks. We'll tweet them out through... DJ Bet's Twitter account, so you all can. You'll see find what us we have. everywhere. Exactly. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. You name it. We're on all social media platforms. We're on all formats for your podcast. We should be able to get that done. If not, it'll be done soon enough. Um, you can listen to Spotify wherever you listen to your podcast. But we appreciate you for myself, for Dagan Parker. This is DJ Bet's. Take care, guys, and remember. Win money. Let's go. Peace. DJ Betts. Featuring Jordan Allen and Dagan Parker. DJ Betts.